Ain't no sunshine when he's gone Only darkness when he's away Ain't no sunshine when he's gone So people have this idea what on stage is about and lots of people think that it's just rock but when I joined I don't have a rock voice um, so I decided that I need to sing the genres and the kinds of music that I like so even at the finals I went with you know Nora Jones which was kind of out of the box so I mean if you're thinking you know I'm not really sure whether my the music I like can be sung at on stage I mean what I suggest is just go for it well, I remember when I took part in 2000, I took part with two bands and both of those bands came to the finals. One of them was Deja Vu and the other one was a band called Two Him. And I remember the officials just taking me to a side before the finals and telling me, you have to pick, you have to pick the band. To play with, the, to play with at the finals, you can't be, be with both bands, so I had to subsequently go home the next day, call everyone up, have a chat with them, sort out some Bali and uh, eventually ended up playing with Deja Vu, which you know, is a good thing ultimately. But uh, yeah, that is an interesting thing that I remember. So one thing about on stage, man, uh, that's the first time I've been on a stage that big. And uh, ever since then, every day, you know, it, it's, like, it's like a drug. You, you crave for that stage, you know. If you, if you don't get it for a week or two, you, you physically yearn for it, you know, but, but that's the first time I felt that feeling. I mean, performing in front of 3,000 people was just amazing and um, it really got me out of the cocoon that I was in as a performer, really, because it was a competition after all and uh, everybody had to up their game and I was against amazing artists, Mariam, Kushal, Manu, you know, all of them were just amazing. So uh, I think how I really pushed forward, I, I don't believe I won by too much, but I, I think that uh, the little lead I had was through the performance factor of it, and I really got the crowd involved in, uh, I think I did, because <laughs> I was nervous wrecked, so I couldn't really judge too much from on stage, but I knew I, I, I was sweating, I was taking my jacket off, you know, all that stuff, I planned these things before, it's the first time I really gave such a heartfelt performance, you know. I think what really got me the title of 2007 was uh, what I did as a performer. Yeah. And that I've maintained up to this day, six years later, and I really thank you know that stage and on stage for, for that. It's a whole different ball game when you take part for Taylor on stage. Like when it comes to playing in front of judges, I'm a full-time musician, so uh, I play regularly a lot. And um, when I play in front of judges, it's a whole different ball game. You need to focus like. There are facial expressions also, you know, it just brings a lot of pressure onto you. Love me, we'll live it my heart is trying to take me home tonight. One thing everybody has realized is the fact that, I mean, when it comes to a band, it's not like a solo artist. It's, uh, you know, it consists of like different individuals, so... Everybody's got their yeah, own Yeah, everybody's got something to bring to the plate, so, I mean, fights happen, you know, those kind of things happen within teams, within, uh, you know, bands as well, so, I mean, you just have to sit down and discuss and, you know, get something yeah. common, yeah, sit through it, that's it. So, yeah, basically, problems come, do not give up during on stage, either. It's not even on stage. That, you know, on stage season is actually where it all is being tested, yeah? It's a yeah. frustrated time. Because each, each of us feel like, you know, if we are not up to our best, there is another four guys in the band that's gonna lose because of you. Yeah, that's one yeah, of the yeah, biggest yeah, things I had my you know same, yeah. my experience was that like before on stage when I was getting there to the location to the venue the thing that was running in my head was man if you mess up there's four other guys that's gonna go down with you, you know? So if you're a solo artist you don't have to worry about that you mess up it's your fault, you know, you just go out, you know, with a smile smile on your face. So the pressure will come, you know, you just need to keep at it. You're fighting. So one of the crazy memories that I have is uh, it, was, it was more scary than anything because it was the finals and we were playing I think we were playing our first song and um, so we are doing our whole number and singing verse blah 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 and then the, the solo, the guitar solo so the guy, the lead guitarist, he starts playing the solo and then there's a huge sound feedback and the guitar is just gone so 
there you kind of were with the drums and the rhythm and it all played but there's no real solo. So I think I did something with my mouth then or something that I can't really remember. Yeah, so that was my the memory that stuck. <laughs> the biggest memory that stuck. Hi, I'm Lantra. Hi, I'm Krishan and we're from the band Doctor. I was at, we both participated for the in year 2004 and uh, he was playing for a band called Akash and I went as a solo artist and uh, unforgettable moment for me was that was like the first time I uh, sang for a huge audience and I was uh, damn scared as usual. Well, uh, if I talk about the unforgettable moments uh, when I was participating on Team Osage, well, uh, I used to mix up all the names of our band members because uh, when I get on stage, because since I'm like since it's the first time, I get so nervous. So I call Krishan, maybe Yasiru or someone. I might call Sarini, uh, Abulu. Then I just mix up the names, and they were like staring at me. I was like, like what the hell? And they were they were like giving me like so much of looks. I was like, I'm sorry. And then I had to do the I had to do the name reintroducing again. And so it was a kind of embarrassing moment, but still, you know, that's the way I start. But now I don't mix up. Sometimes I do. <laughs> uh, something very strange that we did while practicing for the finals, which we never did again, uh, was that we got really into it. And uh, we decided, uh, the four instrumentalists, uh, to practice in four different rooms. As in, we would play one song, but we would be in four different rooms, we wouldn't see each other. Uh, this came about because um, we noticed uh, at the semi-finals, uh, our coordination was uh, slightly off because uh, we were in a, a new area, it was not where we used to practice, so uh, we didn't see each other, so that we get used to this situation, we thought we would uh, practice in four different rooms. So myself got stuck in the attic, uh, Shehan the drummer was in Rukshan's parents' bedroom, um, the bassist was in the actual practice room. Al Rukshan was in the parlor. Um, we never did it. I'm the whole and it just so slow in every move, control society. We were wondering, do you think this will work out and all that stuff? Yeah, and we were really nervous. Like, you know, we, we had only really one origin at the time, it was Pumi and the rest were all covers of our favorite bands. Like, at the time, it was Smashing Pumpkins. And at that time, we had only played, played in candy before we played for few years. At the finals, we went in last, and we uh, were actually the sixth man. So, um, yeah, we waited for all the performances, and uh, actually, Stigs played, and we thought, okay, definitely this is not going to happen. It's definitely Stig Martyr, because even the crowd was like totally into them, and those guys played really well. Um, played the two songs, got off on stage, and I actually ran off straight in for a wedding. So, you know. And played and then I saw the phone ring and I, I, I saw Romesh. Romesh was a Ezra drummer. So I was like, okay, this guy is gonna tell we lost, right? So I just take one stick and I'm taking the I put the phone, you know, between my uh, like the shoulder and ear and then he said we won. I said, What? We won and believe it or not, I stopped playing, kept the sticks and I took the phone and then and the song was going and the guys are only what on earth is happening? And uh, then I was like, Masan, super good scene, and I, I said, I'll call you back. And we, I just took the phone and went and played. And so that was really nice. And yeah, that's something that I wouldn't forget about on stage. One pressure uh, situation that we faced when we took part on stage was uh, our vocalist returned, or rather came back to the island just one day prior to the finals. I mean, we've been practicing for almost two weeks from the semi finals to the finals. We had about two weeks and uh, we were practicing for those two weeks and we just had one day to practice with our vocalists and that was a major, major challenge for us. Well, that was actually coming after uh, recording our demo. We were in a... Uh, we actually didn't have much cash to come, so we all... Back then it was like 20 or 30 bucks. The slowest train, the last Padula train that goes all the way there. We had all like three amps and like two guitars and a bass and all carried together and we just got into a really heavy crowded train. We all packed like this standing for about five hours. <laughs> and we didn't have any space to keep our gear yeah. and like we had to keep 
the guitars behind the doors and like look after God, the, the guitars because the moment the train it started getting late it was night and like the, the whole thing blacks out on the way <laughs> people sitting by day and all <laughs> yeah and there's no electricity sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you can see it that yeah, was a crazy time no organizing or anything just take the guitars and just come here and was was a mess you know it's pretty mess <laughs> I won the best solo category last year in 2012. I mostly sing R&B, soul and jazz. It was definitely a, an amazing experience being a part of on stage last year. I got to meet so many good musicians and friends. Um, I got to explore different styles and of music. Being a part of the whole on stage process being, you know, taking part in different rounds it gave me um, it allowed me to explore more styles and genres of music. So I have really good memories of TNL on stage 2007. Um, obviously, the craziest part was winning it on you know uh, in the early hours of 2000, uh, 11th of November 2007. Uh, but I, I I remember this one incident the previous day when. Uh, all of us got together, the bands, the soloists, and the guys from girls and from TNL, and I don't know. We I think we were waiting for the sound checks to come along, and uh, we were bored. We were bored out of our minds. Uh, <laughs> so, Stephen, I think it was Stephen from Hollow, who had his bright idea of this little game, which you know nobody expected what it turned out to be. Uh, somebody said something. I, I I don't remember the rules exactly, but somebody said something, and the last person to clap got slapped by everybody else in the group. Um, I, I didn't get slapped. I didn't get slapped. <laughs> but a lot of people ended up with, uh, you know, sore faces, and uh, that was uh, certainly memorable. <laughs> I think Kazim, Kazim went on stage looking a bit like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. <laughs> Just one thing to be anybody who wants to take part in on stage. Believe me, this stage and this platform will certainly be a huge boost to your musical endeavors and um, it'll be a mind-blowing experience in the least. Uh, anybody who's thinking twice about the whole recording process for demos, I'd like to tell you in 2007 uh, we didn't have technology. My demo was a pretty much a uh, recording that we did <laughs> on an N72 Nokia. It was a really bad recording. Uh, so, I mean, don't let that be an, an obstacle for you to send your demo in. Uh, if you if you really want to, and if you have the talent, you know, whatever talent shines through any recording. Take pride in your original music. Come and perform it at on stage. Win an audience and win on stage for that matter. I recommend taking part in on stage if you musician who writes your own music, who goes for originality. Make sure you do take part this year. So all the best. All the best. Find everybody who wants to take part and I'll see you at all stage.